Hi, I'm Rosemary with Usborne Books and More. Let's talk about books for your kids um, that deal with friendship and other emotions that they may be facing. First up is Billy Goat's Big Breakfast. So Billy Goat goes to breakfast at his friend Nat the Cat's house. And Nat the Cat discovers, oh goodness, I don't have a couple of ingredients that I need. I'm just going to go run over to the store. And she leaves Billy Goat with the unfinished breakfast here. Billy Goat's tummy starts to rumble. He starts to get hungry. And he decides, well, you know, I am really hungry. I'm just going to eat the breakfast. And soon he really regrets that because it starts to hurt his tummy. And then he realizes now the cat's coming back. What is he going to say? So this book is really cute about for teaching manners, teaching, telling the truth. Um, Billy Goat eventually has to tell Nat the cat that he ate her breakfast that she had worked hard to make for him and their friends. And, you know, it's just a cute story about manners and um, waiting and um, things that can be really hard for young kids like that. So Billy Goat's Big Breakfast. Next one is Tale of Two Beasts. And this book is great for um, teaching kids that there are always two sides to every story and that the truth may be a combination of the two. So the first part of the book is told from the girl's point of view. And she's walking through the woods and she sees this beast and she decides to, to grab him and take him home. She builds him a little house and gives him food. She introduces him to all her friends. And she's just like, this is great. I love this little beast guy. But he runs away. And she's not sure why. So the second part of the story is told from the beast's perspective. And his side of the story is basically, I was just hanging out and this girl came and grabbed me and took me back to her home and introduced me to all these crazy kids and made me eat weird food and all this stuff. So it's really great for, like I said, teaching kids that there are always two sides to every story. Our next book is Jonathan James and the What If Monster. And it can um, you can get a really soft, cute uh, plush toy of the What If Monster separately on the website. So Jonathan James is this sweet little boy who is plagued by doubt and worry and is accompanied by the what-if monster. What if you climb a tree and you fall and skin your knee? What if you jump off the diving board and they laugh at you and you look silly? Um, what if there's monsters in your room? Oh my gosh. So eventually Jonathan James decides that he's not going to be afraid anymore. He's not going to have so much worry. He's not going to doubt himself, and he learns that not everything through life, going through life, is as scary and awful as it might seem. So this book is really, really great for kiddos that um, struggle with anxiety or just worry warts, things like that. Our next book is Cordelia, and Cordelia is this girl that has amazing self-esteem. She believes in herself. She loves to fly around and she knows what her strengths are. She, um, up in the sky, she would make the moon smile, dance with the stars, and laugh all the while. But then she starts to listen to people who tell her, you can't really fly, you can't really do that. What are you saying? You're silly, you need to stop. And her world becomes gray. And so Cordelia misses what she used to be able to do and decides, I'm going to not listen to those people. Haters going to hate. And I'm going to fly anyway, and I'm going to be myself. And so she does. And off she goes. So Cordelia is a really, really sweet book for kids um, who need a little help with self-esteem and believing in themselves. Really, really sweet, cute book.
finally, we have Dog and Mouse. And this book is actually written by um, Michelle Nelson Smith, who um, it also wrote Cordelia and Jonathan James and the What If Monster. And she has some really great books um, you can find on our website. But Dog and Mouse is about a dog who is looking, looking, looking for something. And this mouse sees him and he's like, what is this? Like, what's this guy looking for? So the mouse asks him, what are you looking for? And the dog says, well, you know, I'm looking for my best friend. I'm, I, it's my best friend. It's got to be around here somewhere. And so the mouse says, well, you know, I'll help you. And so the dog accepts his help. And the day passes. And the seasons change. And they keep looking and looking. And finally, the dog realizes that the mouse is the best friend that the dog has been looking for all along. And this is a great book for teaching kids about not judging people by what's on the surface, under um, looking at someone based on what their qualities are, um, and uh, not, you know, being quick to judge. So these are just a small sampling of the books that we have for kids on emotions and friendship, and you can find all of them and more on our website.